guys, check this out. I didn't even show you guys, but we got my headlight done. Shout out to my boy Narvin. He opened it up for me, resealed it. Should be good now. Look. Oh my God, my hoodie got stuck to the ceiling, bro. He's my boy with the E92 I showed in the vlog earlier. He actually redid Hugo's headlights, if you guys have seen. He does like custom headlights on E92s, BMWs. But I asked him if he can work on a GTR and he said yes. Yeah. So he opened it up, sealed it all up again. He sealed it up twice, so that's why it doesn't look all pretty. But we want to put more, the better. Just so that water really doesn't get inside again. <laughs> All right, just dropped off the headlight. They're gonna start putting everything together now. All the carbon got re-clear coated and they're gonna start putting it together. As you guys can see, the bumper's still off. By the way, this is a whole next day, guys. It's a new day. We are running errands like crazy. I gotta take all this stuff to the post office right now. I don't know how late it's gonna be done, but I told him it doesn't matter how late it is, I need the car done today because we're gonna drive it all the way to the IE and drop it up to my boys at Bulletproof Powder Coating and they're gonna redo the wheels for me while we're in Hawaii. And then we gotta drive back, pack my bags, and then take a flight at like 7 a.m. to Hawaii. I am stressed, guys. I'm trying to handle all this stuff before I leave to Hawaii. And then hopefully when I get to Hawaii, I can finally relax, dude. I have not had a vacation in so long. I've been working like this every single day. I'm telling you, if I film my life like throughout the day, because guys, I leave out a lot, like in the vlogs, you know? You guys only see probably like 20 minutes of my day. I'm always stressed, I'm always working, I'm doing things non-stop, I don't have time to chill, like at all. I really do need a vacation, guys. It's just hard to take time off when there's money to make and there's things to do and I'm super busy. I'm trying to finish this and I'm trying to drop merch and I'm... Dude, it's a lot, guys. It's really a lot. Editing and filming and... I'm not here to complain. It's the best job in the world, but people want to be like entrepreneurs so bad. And I said this, I think, early in the vlog. Like, bro, you work more than a nine to five. You're working 24 hours. But you gotta do what you gotta do, guys. I'm trying to work super, super hard for the things that I want, you know what I mean? Hopefully this can motivate you guys too. Because it does pay off at the end of the day. It really does. It's just a lot of freaking work, dude. I have a lot of videos built up that I'm gonna edit and post while I'm in Hawaii. If you guys have noticed, I've been posting every other day just so that I have content to post while I'm in Hawaii. So that you guys don't get like a whole week off of vlogs either. So I won't be working, but I'll be working, bro. I'm always working, I swear. Just made here to 412 Motorsport. As you guys can see in the background, we got my R8. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I wish, bro. Oh my God, dude, look at that. One day though, one day and very soon, hopefully. Today, we're gonna tow the E46. If you guys remember, I towed my E46 here about a month ago probably now. It's been a while, dude. It's been just sitting outside collecting dust. So today we're gonna tow it to Sam's new shop. Sam got another shop. I showed it in one of my last videos, but Sam got another shop over there. They're gonna be doing like the BMW work, the drifting content, drift builds. And over here, it's really focusing on like supercars and stuff like that. Right now at 412, here it's just super busy guys. As you guys can see, there's so much work going on. It's freaking, dude, they're wrapping cars, they're doing exhaust, they're doing tunes. It's a lot of work, G. I really want to get the E46 fixed and completed, so we're just gonna tow it to Sam right now, and he's gonna start working on it, so I'm excited. Check this thing out, though. They finally finished it, guys. Look how good it looks. Fully converted a freaking 3 Series wagon into an actual F83? No, it's not three. What is it? F81. <laughs> what is it, F81? Uh, yeah, F81. That's what it is, right? A wagon? Obviously, we don't have, like, do they even make them? They do, but not here. It's sick to see in person, guys. I mean, you never see this. Did they make one of these? I don't even know, bro. I don't even know too much about it. All I know is that they converted everything to an actual M3. Not just body-wise. I thought they were gonna just put a bumper on it, a fender, you know? They converted everything, the transmission, the engine, the seats, the interior, everything, the brakes, the suspension. It's fully converted to an actual M3 which is wild, bro. It looks so good. Look at the four exhaust, the bumpers, the fenders. Look, they even widened the rear fender. They wrapped it, put new wheels on, new interior, and actual F80 in engine and everything. Sick. They fully like converted it. it. Like, like everything, guys. It's insane. I don't know why. I should have took advantage and filmed this whole process, bro. Should have. I'm so dumb, dude. Because I showed you guys a little bit of it. It was like fully torn apart. They had it fully empty, like gutted inside. They had the wiring everywhere. Like they built this thing from scratch and it's actually insane. I should have filmed the whole process, but it looks good. I actually like it better than F80, the wagon. <laughs> it's pretty sick. We got Kevin's dream car right there. Literally Kevin's dream car. That or yours perf? This, no, I was gonna really? yours perf. You over the six by six. Yeah. So crazy. Well, you know what's crazy? She has the air jacks. 
So you pump it up and the jacks go up. No so you way. can change the tires. It's a full race car, bro. It was built by BMW. Like it's actual BMW wide body, BMW cage, everything. It's actually insane. But yeah, they have a lot of stuff going on. They got some GTRs. And I love this plate, bro. I literally love that plate. I don't know how he got that. R8 over here with the new exhaust. Sick, that shit's gonna be loud. All right, check this out. <laughs> so sad, bro. This thing's completely abandoned. Like, I'm not even joking. It's actually an abandoned E46 at this point. It's just been just sitting here, collecting dust, getting rained on. Look, the dog's been in it, bro. <laughs> Spiders, everywhere. Spiders everywhere, dude, look at it. It's all bad, guys. We need to bring this car back to life, and that's what we're gonna do. We're finally gonna just bring it back to life. It's been sitting here, I don't know why, I'm just letting it sit here and literally rust, bro. The turbo's rusted, dude. Holy crap, Sam has to clean all this up. All my cars are all messed up, bro. That sucks. I'm trying to bring them all back to life, guys, I'm trying. I'm trying to focus on fixing these cars, getting them running. There's literally no point of having this car if it's not gonna run. And I've even thought about selling it, guys. I've thought about selling it, maybe even doing a giveaway car with this, I don't even know. But first things first, we gotta fix it, bring it back to life, get the engine running healthy again, clean all this up, because it literally looks abandoned, bro. This is bad, dude. This is the worst it's ever looked. Yeah, rewrap it, I still wanna wide body it. There's a lot of things I wanna do to it. We just haven't had time and we haven't done it, but. Finally gonna get that done today. Let's just take it to Sam. Hopefully he can figure this out. So nice too. It's a sick car. Yeah. And yeah, we're leaving to Hawaii tomorrow. So I'm gonna be gone for a week. So that's what I'm saying too. I'm trying to get everything done now before we go to Hawaii. So I can just drop this off and that whole week while I'm out there in Hawaii, things could get be things could be getting done. Like my GTR wheels getting painted. And then now the E46 could hopefully be getting worked on while I'm gone too. I hope. You guys, I know it looks bad right now, but it is gonna come back to life and Comment down below, should we give this car away at the end of it? It'll be cool, no? Uh, well, I should keep it? Yeah, I like it. No, I never even got a ride in it. We can't get attached to cars, dude. You gotta sell yours too. You can't, I'm attached to you. Kevin's M4 GTS is for sale, by the way, guys. Stop, so, uh, dude. I posted it for sale on my story without his permission, but. <laughs> oh. Damn! Let's just quit vlogging, G, Falling go to NBA. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's trying to sell his car, guys, so if anyone wants it. <laughs> we'll see. I'm, I wanna fix it up and then wrap it, and then I probably will fall in love with it again. <laughs> but if not, maybe I'll give it away to one of you guys. We'll see, maybe we'll do a full giveaway on this car. The tow truck is on the way. We're gonna tow it down there and get this thing getting worked on. I'm excited, bro. <laughs> I mean, I've been excited. It just sucks that it's just been sitting here. We got it on the tow truck, finally. <laughs> bro, it was a pain bringing it here. Now it's a pain shipping it somewhere. I cannot wait till this thing's done, bro. All this stress stressing me out. On to the next shop. <laughs> and uh, they got the dyno there too. So we're gonna put this car on the dyno once it's all complete. Get some content out of it. The car's gonna get done. I cannot wait, guys. I'm sure you guys cannot wait either. That car has been off the channel for over a year, bro. So you guys thought my GTR was bad. That's worse, dude. All my cars have been broken. But slowly and slowly, I'm trying to bring them all back together. You guys see the effort I'm putting in. I'm trying to get these cars complete. Not only does it take a lot of time, it costs a lot of money too, so. But I'm ready to do it. And I wanna get all the cars complete. And like I said, either, Right now, the motivation for that car is kind of gone because it's been so long. So I'm not sure if I want to keep it at this point. At this point, with all the stress of like towing it and like pushing it on that dolly because the wheel's broken, or the suspension's broken, all of that stress is making me want to just get it, give it away or sell it. I don't know. So we'll see what happens. Maybe when we rebuild it and I rewrap it and make it look nice, I want to keep it again. I'm sure. But right now, at this moment, I just want it gone, guys. It's so much stress, dude. But you gotta keep it. G. We'll see. I'm planning to keep it. It's just a lot of stress, G. Like that's just been gone for a year. Why am I just having it sit there? It's you that's having it sit there. Like I could literally sell that car and go buy like an E92 for a street car or something, or like something I can drive. Like another thing bad about that car is, it's not a street car, bro. Like you can't drive it on the street. I can't drive it to car meets. It's literally a track car. It has no tags, no insurance. The cops say you can't. And the cops will say I can't either. But you can. I could, but <laughs> but I can't. Bro, I say just one day, like when it's just fixed, we just take it out on the street and just go stupid with it. And my my yeah. goal was to like fix it, make it look more like complete, put the hood on the front bumper, make it look like a real E46 street car, and then put like a Texas plate on it or something. 
What's up, G? It's gone, G. Triple H? Yeah. Is that my moment? <laughs> Check it out, guys. We're at an all BMW car meet, bro. <laughs> Tonight's the last day. Tomorrow we go to Hawaii. So we thought we'd stop at this little car meet. The only thing is I don't have a car, so we're running passenger again. We're gonna vlog a little bit, get some more BMW content, car meet content before Hawaii, guys. This one's sick. It has the little vents in the front bumper. Oh, mine had it. I actually like those little vents. At first when I bought the car, I did not like them at all. Funny story is I almost didn't even buy my car because I saw the front bumper was cut. When you cut the bumper, there's no going back. So I was even contemplating even buying that car. But I ended up buying the car, as you guys know, and then it actually grew on me. I actually liked the little vents right there. I might do it on every, if I get another F80, I'm probably gonna do it again. <laughs> Got a G80 here with the buckets. Look at these colored buckets. I feel like these you hardly see, bro. But they're really, really sick. That's a nice spec. I like it. Still want one, guys. Still can't decide. G80 R8, still. A lot of people did ask me, too, what's the update on the R8 in Arizona? Oh, here's the update, guys, okay? <laughs> I think it's sold, bro. So annoying. When we went to Arizona last week, you guys saw when we went over there. I was planning on looking at the car. I told the guy ahead of time. Oh, my God. I told the guy ahead of time. I was like, yo, I'm going to be in Arizona at the end of the week. Let me know if I can come check out the car in person and all that good stuff before I go through with it. He literally told me, yeah, let me know when you come to Arizona. I end up going to Arizona. <laughs> I hit him up when I'm there and he just ghosts me, bro. He just literally goes MIA. Get back from Arizona, obviously. I can't just wait for him. So I came back to LA. Once I got to LA, I messaged him again. I'm like, bro, I was out there. Is it still available? He's like, unfortunately, I think it's sold. You think it's sold, bro? Come on, I'm trying to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally going over there to see it, dude. But whatever. That one might be sold, guys. It most likely is. And we got to find another R8. We'll see. Maybe that red one that we saw in one of the vlogs. I don't know. Now that the GTR came back, it kind of uh, calmed me down a little bit. But I still want another car. What's up, G? <laughs> Rich. Nicholas Cage. What's up? How are you? Good. Good? Should we Should trade? trade? I'm, I'm down. down. I swear. Let's put all the wings back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes Ares. And then my boy Anthony. Dude, that car is insane. I want to do a full video with this still. Everyone always trips out when I put it on the vlog, bro. Anthony's car is the craziest G82 M4 in the world, I swear. That next to TJ Hunt. I like TJ Hunt's too. But they're similar. They got like the crazy wide body race kit. They look sick. Rich. Got Kevin's merch. Rich. You never gave me one, dog? I know. I got to give you the merch, bro. <laughs> what is that? With green DRL. I know. The green looks sick. Damn. Well, the green DRLs do look sick. That's sick. Oh, Place shit. Matching. I'm going to pull that with the convertible. <laughs> Damn, this was nice, bro. Yeah, better than my U46. It really is, I swear. Damn. But A46 is sick. All right, guys, we made it to Beamer Fest. <laughs> Beamer Invasion? What the fuck happened to Beamer Fest, bro? That sucks. No more. Is it really gone? Should we regroup it? Like, why don't we restart Beamer Fest and make our own? You'll, you'll do it. Damn, all over David, bro. <laughs> No way. It literally looks like David's car. Sick. David already has a bunch of mods coming, guys. I'll try to vlog it when he gets them. So we can do like a little, another F80 build. Except it's not mine, it's his, but. <laughs> I'm sure you guys wanna see. You know, too? I don't know if you guys saw, but I posted on my story that I wanna buy another one. <laughs> you should. I no, I'm being that should. serious, bro. And I'm already telling you, so yours. <laughs> yeah, you're tripping. But I want to buy another one? Be nah, but I want a cheap one, bro. Guys, I'm really trying to find one. I know you're going to sound, you're, I'm going to sound crazy, but I want to find one for under 20K, bro. Even under 15K, I'm down. Damn. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know. <laughs> you don't even know what it is, G. I do. Damn. It actually looks good with the livery. That's hard. And the roll cage, bro. I love that livery. That looks sick. It looks like a legit race car, bro. That's actually fire. What's up, bro? Nice. Damn. I love it too. On bags? What is that? There's no way. Bro, I really want to buy another E92 though, if I can find a good I price. I really hope you do. If someone, if there's someone out there, stick shift, E92, under $15,000, please. <laughs> bro, it's possible. No. I don't care about the mileage, bro. Like, I'll take a freaking 200 k mile one. As long as it runs, it shifts, it looks good, and I'll rebuild it. Like, I'll make it sick, bro. Yeah, you could. And I'm going to put it in the mods that I've always wanted to do back in the day, but I just never, I didn't have the money back then, G. 
Oh, now you're like rich. I'm a cage. Now he's rich. Now he's rich. I'm gonna do everything I wanted to do to my old unit too. I just never did. You should sell the GTR. Get a G80. Get a fucking R8. G80 and R8 would be. I was thinking that too. Fucking M8. R8. Some of yours, G. That's too much. <laughs> More BMWs are pulling up. Got another M2 over there. Both a lot of beamers, dude. It's actually insane. <laughs> Look, this thing got TEs on it. Damn, it's sick. Sick ass food. Let me buy the wheels, dog. Oh, look at Anthony's car, dude. It's freaking insane. Damn. Rich. Bro, that steering was so freaking sick. What? You got stars? I didn't know you did that. That's crazy. That looks so good, actually. Holy crap. You guys didn't pay attention. Bro, it looks Bro, good. I never put him on. I never put him on. Well, he never gives us a ride. You know? <laughs> he never takes me for a ride. Can I drive it? Can I drive it? Yeah. Make a wish, honey. Well, let me borrow it, bro. Honestly, I'm down. <laughs> this shit's so clean. Must be nice to be rich, Why? bro. Don't be cheap. I swear. Kevin's like, <laughs> Kevin sponsored? Yeah. Let me cop the hood, bro. I need a hood and a bumper, too, guys. If anyone has one for sale, please. What the? Look at it. Forgot F80 seats. Bro, that shit is sick. And the E46. Guys, I'm freezing. I'm going to just walk through the meat real quick. Show you guys all the cars, because I am cold, bro. <laughs> Got a convertible over here. Pink, sick, all little one series, bro. Have you seen? Did you see the seats in E46? No. Go look at them, G. Oh, come on, far, G. It's too far to walk. G, come on. Let me wear this shit too. By the way, this shit look warm. It is warm. I think I dirty the back. Fuck, dude. How? With what? With the boba, bro. You're dumb. I'm just kidding. Uh, M4 seats? Damn. That's, or M3 seats? That's crazy. It looks sick on S80. Oh shit. I'm here. Yeah, bro. Hi. How are you, Jimmy? Hello. Are you ready to sell it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Everything's for sale that Jimmy has, bro. <laughs> Fresh kicks. Fresh kicks. Oh my god. <laughs> How's your teeth, Doug? I'm surprised you're outside. Our boy got his uh, wisdom teeth. Oh out. yeah. Hey, how you recovering, bro? <laughs> Good. He's out of meat, bro. Hey, he's out of car. He's still drunk, bro. <laughs> Damn, that shit is nice. Bro, it's actually insane with the freaking tire on there. Hey, Marlon, what's up, bro? Yeah, that shit is sick. What's up, bro? Four door. He has three of them. Bro, honestly, I'm not a big fan of the four doors, but that, that one's just nice. Hard. He has three? He has three. Can he sell me one? Maybe. Oh. Rich. St stupid rich. Wide body? Oh, shit. Oh, that color is nice. <laughs> There's more cars over here. Guys, it's a straight BMW me. Look at this. It's insane. All right, let's go through the cars fast because, like I said, I'm cold. There's an M2. Sick. I love that color actually. Literally looks like my boy Jay's car. You remember Jay? I haven't seen Jay in so long. He needs to bring his car out. This one's nice. Holy crap with the HREs. Wow. All right, for sure my favorite car here, you guys. Oh my God, that thing is nice. Damn. I'm telling you, I think if I ever get another one, guys, I'm probably gonna do the two door M4, I swear. Stick shift, of course, there's no other way I would do it, but stick shift, M4, I think that's the next. The next one, guys. Because I do want another one. It's literally my favorite car I've ever owned. I swear, even to this day, I think that's the favorite car I've ever owned. Even more fun than the GTR. I know, a GTR is literally a dream car to a lot of people, guys. But And me too. GTR is all my ultimate dream car. But, but the F80, guys, nothing drove like it. I swear. We got Daniels, G80. Dude, everyone's outside. Daniel, Jimmy. Kicks his car is crazy. This has to be the craziest G82. I like Anthony's too. Anthony's and his is just ridiculous. This is the cleanest stock body. I think Anthony has the craziest wide body. Damn. It's crazy. He's literally done everything, guys. Diffuser, wing, tail lights, crazy wheel setup, but the crazy fitment. Uh, see, when I see something like this, this makes me want to just get one of these instead of the R8. I mean, kicks out of both. I should ask him, huh? He would know more than I do. <laughs> you want to be fast? S58. <laughs> you want to flex and look rich? All right. <laughs> it's simple. Fuck, I don't know, bro. I mean, you just get more for your money. Like. Yeah. I personally got bored of the fucking R8 because it's just like, it makes like 560 wheels. Yeah. You know? Like, that shit gets boring. I'm not gonna lie, I drove one the other day and I was just like, eh, it was alright. It's cool, like, it's, it's cool, cool, but like, when but... you get used to power, like, <laughs> it's like if you never drove a fast car, then you'd be like, bro, that shit's fucking sick, it's fast, yeah. but, like, unless you twin turbo it, that shit gets boring to be honest. And this one has, you could do way more, I feel like. Yeah, Look at all this shit, bro. You can change the whole bumper. 
Like literally, I'm still not even. Cosmetic wise and yeah, power wise. Like, everything I did to it, I'm still not even at the price of a rear wheel drive R8. With <laughs> that is Space crazy, y'all. <laughs> It is it sick. Is, it's perfect. I mean, you can't really compare them though. They're like, you they're cannot like, compare it. Nah. It's hard. All right, the flag one. That shit was sick. I would buy another one. I mean, it's cool. You get to enjoy it for a little bit, you know? Yeah. You got to experience it. That's kind of what I want to do. I don't know. Just have, do it, try it for do a little. Do it for the experience. It's kind of exactly. like, it's kind of like butt. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drowning my sorrows. Drowning my sorrows be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see in 26. Shit.